The Hong Kong National Rugby Union team, nicknamed the Dragons, is one of the better rugby sides in Asia outside Japan, and has consistently made the repechages of the Rugby World Cup qualifying. Rugby Union in Hong Kong is administered by the Hong Kong Rugby Union since 1952, and competes annually in the Asia Rugby Championship. Hong Kong has one of the oldest rugby traditions in Asia, having been played there since the 19th century, when British colonists arrived in Hong Kong and brought the sport with them. For a long time, rugby union in Hong Kong was traditionally associated with Hong Kong's British-descended, English-speaking class, but since the 1990s there has been extensive efforts to integrate the game to the Cantonese-speaking community, with a degree of success, the first of these players being Rambo, Leung Young Kit. Hong Kong have improved in form recently, having finished in second place in the ARC in 2011, 2014, and 2015, and made it to the repechage of the 2015 Rugby World Cup qualifying, the loss to Uruguay 24-3. They again competed in the repechage tournament for the 2019 Rugby World Cup. History Early history According to old newspapers, rugby union in Hong Kong dates back to the late 1870s, which would establish Hong Kong as perhaps the oldest rugby playing nation in Asia. The players during this era were all British sailors and army, navy men, as well as police and merchantmen. The first secretary of rugby in Hong Kong was Jock McGregor. The first fixtures which predate the creation of the modern Hong Kong Rugby Union in 1952 took place from 1924 to 1949. An unofficial interport team from Hong Kong played Shanghai on various dates from 1924 to 1949, both teams being composed entirely of British expatriates living in said port cities. These fixtures ceased after the establishment of communist rule in mainland China. In 1934, a Hong Kong team played against an Australia University's team, running out victors 11-5. After the establishment of modern Chinese borders, which before grade the exact control a union had over territory in China, the Hong Kong Rugby Union was established in 1952, the continuation of British rule in China, as well as the flow of immigrants and capital from the mainland, as well as Hong Kong establishing itself as a major port, allowed the game to flourish, albeit mostly restricted to the white British community. During this time frame the first official fixtures under the union took place. Hong Kong first received a NZ University's team in 1958, losing 47 to nil. In 1958, Larry Abel, one of Hong Kong's earliest rugby pioneers, established mini rugby programs and tournaments, and has been played annually to this day. In 1968, Hong Kong was one of the charter nations of the Asian Rugby Football Union, the others being Japan, Malaysia, Singapore, Sri Lanka, South Korea, and Thailand. Hong Kong won its first official fixture against Japan in 1969, by the score of 24-22 in Tokyo. Topic. 1970s. During the 1970s Hong Kong played against many of its other Asian neighbors which had a rugby history, these nations being Japan, South Korea, Chinese Taipei, Thailand, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, and Singapore. Hong Kong enjoyed and endured mixed success against its neighbors, finishing second in 1972, only to lose to Japan 16-0 on home soil. In 1976, the first ever edition of the Hong Kong Sevens was established, which was pivotal in strengthening the sport in Hong Kong. The concept was discussed by business partners Ian Gao and Toki Smith, who wanted to promote a viable rugby product in Asia. The first sponsors of this event were Cathay Pacific and Rothmans International, later replaced by the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. The first sides at this competition were Asian, as well as two representative sides from Australia and New Zealand. Soon, the competition grew to include teams from around the world before becoming an official part of the Rugby Sevens calendar. 1980s to 1990s 
During the 1980s, Hong Kong lagged behind Japan and South Korea in terms of competition. Hong Kong was consistently beating other Asian nations but consistently finished in third places, whereas Japan and Hong Kong were consistently vying for the top crown. Hong Kong officially joined the IRB in 1988, allowing Hong Kong to compete in the Rugby World Cup, though they did not enter the competition to qualify for 1991. The 1990s proved to be a much more fruitful decade for Hong Kong. Hong Kong played its first ever test match against a non-Asia Pacific opponent in 1992, losing 16-23 to the United States in 1992 in Boxer Stadium, San Francisco. In the same year, Hong Kong finally broke through and reached the final of the Asia Rugby Championship, beating South Korea 20-13 before losing to Japan 9-37. Some notable players during the 1990s represented Hong Kong at the international level including Ashley Billington, David Lewis, Leung Young Kit, and Chan Phuc Ping. Hong Kong participated in its first qualifying tournament for the Rugby World Cup in 1995, being drawn with Thailand and Singapore in its group. Hong Kong lost its opening fixture to South Korea 28-17 before beating its other opponents, Hong Kong therefore missed out on a spot at the 1995 Rugby World Cup. An impressive feat achieved during this campaign though was Ashley Billington's 10 tries versus Singapore on November 10, 1994, which is the most tries ever scored in a Rugby World Cup qualifier by a single player. Through the 1990s, Hong Kong began organizing tests against non-Asian opponents. Opponents that were played were Namibia, Papua New Guinea, the United States, and Canada. Hong Kong recorded some famous victories, beating the USA Eagles on three occasions in the decade, including a victory in San Francisco, and beating Canada in 1998. Despite major improvement in the 1990s, Hong Kong bottomed out in its qualifying group for the 1999 Rugby World Cup. Hong Kong beat its nemesis South Korea, but lost to Japan and were upset by the Chinese Taipei. They finished fourth and missed on direct qualification and a repechage. Topic: 2000 present, the new millennium. In 2000, Hong Kong made history when they played China in 2000. This was the first test that Hong Kong played against a team from the Chinese mainland since 1949. The game was played in Shanghai to honor the old rugby matches between Hong Kong and Shanghai. China upset Hong Kong 17-15 that day. Hong Kong struggled somewhat during the early 2000s. In 2001, Hong Kong were once again surprised by China, drawing at 25 points each in Guangzhou. Hong Kong were once again upset by the Chinese Taipei in the 2003 Rugby World Cup qualifiers, losing 20-15, although Hong Kong beat China for the first time in that same qualification. Hong Kong lost all its fixtures in the final round of the 2007 Rugby World Cup qualifying campaign, missing out again on repechage or qualification. The 2011 qualifying campaign was similar, Hong Kong beat both South Korea as well as newcomers Kazakhstan, but lost a crucial fixture to the Arabian Gulf. Due to bonus points, Kazakhstan advanced instead of Hong Kong to the repechage. For the 2015 qualifiers, Hong Kong finally broke through. Hong Kong were drawn into a group including its traditional East Asian rivals Japan and South Korea as well as Sri Lanka and newcomers the Philippines. Hong Kong thrashed South Korea 39-6 in Hong Kong, as well as recording a resounding 108-0 victory over the Philippines. Hong Kong finished second, and qualified for the repechage as a result. In the repechage versus Uruguay, in Montevideo, Hong Kong held firm for the first half, only trailing 6-3. However, Hong Kong indiscipline, coupled with key players not being available, meant that Hong Kong collapsed in the second half, losing 28-3, and bowing out of the qualifiers. At the end of 2015, Hong Kong hosted the 2015 Cup of Nations, which included three other emerging rugby nations, Portugal, Russia, and Zimbabwe. Hong Kong finished second, beating Portugal and Zimbabwe but losing to Russia. 
In 2016, Hong Kong hired Lee Jones, Japan's defense coach who played a key role in Japan's epic upset of South Africa in the 2015 Rugby World Cup, to take the role of head coach and high performance in Hong Kong. In order to further build for future success, the HKRU, under the vision of Lee Jones, launched its first fully professional 15s program called the Elite Rugby Program. The goal of the program is to encourage domestic players to pursue rugby as a profession in Hong Kong, and long term, create a professional competition akin to Japan's top league. In the 2016 Cup of Nations, Hong Kong lost to Russia and won over Zimbabwe and Papua New Guinea. In the 2017 Cup of Nations, the team was defeated again by Russia, while beating Chile and Kenya. Hong Kong will participate in the inaugural season of World Series Rugby, facing off against the Western Force. Overall. Below is table of the representative rugby matches played by a Hong Kong national 15 to the 1st of November 2018. Topic: Tournament history. Topic: Rugby World Cup. Topic Asian Rugby Championship Topic Players Topic Current Squad On 23 October, Hong Kong named a 35-man touring squad to play the Dragons and Crochets RFC in Wales, in preparation for the 2019 Rugby World Cup Repechage Tournament, head coach, Lee Jones Caps updated, 16 November 2018. Note, flags indicate national union for the club, province as defined by World Rugby. Notable former players. The Hong Kong Rugby Union has inducted 16 players into its Hall of Fame as part of its role of honor. Some of these players include Larry Abel, pioneer of youth rugby in Hong Kong. Ashley Billington, wing who holds the record for most tries scored in an international match. Rambo Leung Young Kit, first Chinese player to represent Hong Kong at international level. David Lewis, most capped player for Hong Kong at 55 appearances. See also Rugby Union in Hong Kong Hong Kong Sevens Hong Kong National Rugby Sevens Team Hong Kong National Under-20 Rugby Union Team Hong Kong Women's National Rugby Union Team Hong Kong Women's National Rugby Sevens Team List of Hong Kong National Rugby Union Players <laughs>